Thank you, Scott. Well, I have to do it. If, if you haven't read uh, one or more of his books, you're missing out. I know this group is well read, but uh, clearly uh, he's, he's got his finger on the pulse. Some people don't like what he says, but you know, there's an awful lot of truth in what he says, too. So take what you like and leave the rest is one of those approaches that uh, certainly can help to understanding where we are. What, uh, what I'd like to talk about, too, is both the short-term and the long-term issues that are affecting Catawba County's uh, 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 growth. What I'm going to do is overview, particularly at first, our plan, the EDC's plan, for uh, attacking certain targeted sectors, as well as accommodating those that sort of fall into the bucket from outside sources, whether it's the Charlotte Regional Partnership or the State Department of Commerce, or others that don't necessarily fall into our target sectors. Don't make the assumption, I don't know if I brought enough for everybody or not, this room's more full than I expected it to be. But uh, if you don't get one, we can certainly provide it at one point. What we did was develop this uh, plan to take a look at what are the specific opportunity sectors that we think provide the best match with what Catawba County can provide. You know, if we go to uh, recruit a, a biotech entity and we're competing against Kannapolis and the new research center there, chances are we're going to not fare that well. You know, if they come, come on board and they say, we've got X people that are trained in lab coat type of training and that sort of thing, nothing against what's going on at the Manufacturing Solutions Center, but certainly, our pharma workforce is not going to be uh, as competitive as research training parks or possibly the research center area or something like that. What we want to do is match up our strong suits and what our workforce can get adapted to and make as many arguments within those sectors that make <coughs> sense as we can. So the whole concept is trying to marry up what we can do well or what we already do well and with the sectors that are growing. And that's what we're, we're trying to accomplish here. In any analysis, you've got to try and examine, okay, do we have a plan? Is the plan that we have uh, a, a good design? Where can you shoot holes in it? If you're not trying to shoot holes in your plan, you're probably not in <coughs> your plan hard enough. What are the shortcomings? Are you willing to admit to those shortcomings? And then how can you address those that you may have? Certainly, we've, we've got a lot of those issues, but what we're trying to do, particularly in the short term, is develop uh, institutions and initiatives that will help address those shortcomings, particularly in the target market sectors that we're talking about. Then we take a look at what our long-term plan is. And uh, so if you take a look at this, and I hope you'll uh, come to the conclusion that we have a pretty good plan in place for addressing the short-term needs. Now, clearly, we've got a 12% unemployment rate, 13% unemployment rate. You know, we've got some pretty acute issues that we have to deal with, and we have to deal with them quickly. But um, the, the whole idea is to develop economic prosperity over time. Where does our plan take us? And I'm going to say that I'm encouraging our leadership to take a look at this long-term systemic uh, uh, plan because it's been a couple of years since we've tried to determine where we're going. Last initiative formally that we had was the Foresight Initiative back in 2004, something like that. Um, and people questioned whether or not all of that was acted upon. Certainly there were, I don't know, 38 or 40 sort of recommendations that were coming out of that plan. And everybody looked at it and, and everybody said, well, we've got to accomplish these 38 or 40 things. And you know, if you've got a to-do list, it's pretty hard to get to done some of those, uh, many of those things on that list. What we're trying to encourage right now is a look at let's develop what, I'm, I'm going to use an analogy, we've got an elephant to kill. How come we don't try and 
find, figure out what that one elephant is that everybody can work toward as a community. Everybody develop a spear, put a little bit of curare on that thing, and throw their own spear. So those people that are trying to address workforce issues can address whatever that big elephant problem is and try and throw their spear from the workforce direction. Somebody else has a spear that uh, is coming from small business or entrepreneurship or incubation or whatever that might be, and they try and throw their spear to solve that problem to try and kill that elephant with their spear. So you've got the entire community coalescing towards trying to kill this single elephant in their own way rather than trying to kill 30 small elephants, baby elephants, or something like that with different levels of success. There's no question that we've got a lot of entities in the community that have the community's best interests at heart. We've got, you know, everybody from A to Z that's out here trying to do good, and they're working as hard as they can to try and do what they think is going to get us out of this hole. But the reality is that we're not working all together. If you, if you let the Budweiser, Budweiser Clydesdales loose and, and run free, they're not going to move that wagon that far. But if you hitch them all together, you're going to be drinking a lot of beer. And that's what we're hoping to do. Now, some people should address that issue from a commercial real estate perspective. Some would do it from an <coughs> entertainment perspective, you know? Some would do it from a workforce perspective. But the whole thing is trying to get everybody to analyze and assess what that big major goal is going to be and how do we address that goal in, in a bunch of different ways. And so that's what I'm going to say is I'm going to argue that we've got to certainly take a look at this long-term systemic plan. And I think there are people coalescing around that idea. So certainly we'll, we'll see as hopefully weeks go on, not months. So questions on this? Don't you think that long-term issues deal less with budgetary items and more with mindset? Yeah, I think uh, I, I clearly agree with that. The, there are people that will focus on how is this going to impact our budget and how are we going to deal with it. But I think if you take a look at one of my model cities is Chattanooga. Chattanooga was the pit when I was growing up. We didn't live that far from Chattanooga and uh, you know you didn't want to be there. It was recognized as what one of the top five most polluted cities in the United States. Fully unionized, still working town. You know, and it was just, Chattanooga Choo Choo was in disrepair. You know, it was just not one of those cities that you uh, wanted to go see. What's one of the models of success right now? Got a new VW plant. Tom, didn't you say you used to work in VW? 2,300 people working in that facility. They're talking about doubling it. Amazon.com is going to put a or is reputed to be putting a, a distribution center in there that will have over 1,200 people, whether or not you like that or not. But uh, uh, certainly the aquarium, the river, river city development, and all that. Now you think back, that's been that success story, just like the damn Lincoln Industrial Park, uh, that success story was 25 years in the making. We don't realize it because we've been watching it more slowly. But the reality is, you set good plans in place, you, you determine that that's your priority, and you, and you set those plans in place whether or not you've got the money for them. Yes? Uh, may I ask, if, have you personally identified uh, the elephant that we're talking about, uh, and what color this elephant is, and how big this elephant we're going to talk about? Cut to the chase. <laughs> well, I have. I don't want to presuppose that I know the will of the community, uh, or I, I certainly don't want to think. I, you're, the, I, you're the head of the class, so I thought well, since you're the head of the class, you're going to have a better idea. I would suggest that I would look strongly at the issue that uh, the 20 to 44 year age group, uh, the decline in that population will have ramifications deep and wide. 
for example, if you don't have a growing young parent community, you won't have growing school children community, which has huge ramifications in your future workforce, has huge ramifications in your current workforce. It has huge ramifications in your, uh, if you're not a community where uh, the younger adults want to congregate, then you don't have a community where the older adults want to congregate. So, you know, I think if you take a strong look at that, uh, there's a young parent. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think if you're not <clears throat> trying to address that issue, you're probably, at least if you're not considering that issue, as, as a big elephant, if not the elephant, you're missing the boat. So, how would you address it? You know, you would have EDC working on entities that, uh, recruiting entities that will employ that sector. You will have a group of people that are looking at entertainment venues and commercial venues that, that will be at least satisfactory on the week life of younger adults. Let them go to Charlotte if they want to, you know, on the weekends. <coughs> but you, you have facilities that will entertain that group during the week. You, I mean, I can go on and on regarding what spears get thrown by what entity. But now I've already planted seeds, maybe where I shouldn't have. Yes, Steve. It seems to me there's a pulsing that goes on where, where you know, companies come in, big companies come in, they bring in engineers, they, engineers, they bring nest builders, and then re, there's recession and, they, and those guys get thrown off and hopefully they get thrown off into being local entrepreneurs. Well, you know, when, when, uh, after 9-11, when Corning de-staffed and all those engineers were spun out, very few of them found jobs here. And I think it's because th there was nobody here supporting their entrepreneurial efforts. So I, I think that, that you have to accept this thing as a dynamic phenomena. You, ex you uh, but both, both by having a, a, a community of entrepreneurship and by attracting large companies, you're able to build this population of, of, of nest builders. And, and, and I think that what happened in, in, at the end of the, when the dot com bust and our engineers just having to just flee away mm -hmm. from Hickory showed that we weren't ready to, to be part of that, of that modern world. I have just one challenge to your concept, and I think it's a good challenge about the many spears going after one elephant. My concern is that when you have autonomy in groups, uh, there's sometimes the emotions and the egos that get in the way, and so you may have people knocking each other's spears down trying to kill the elephant. And if you don't have the groups coalesce into a common goal, uh, I think you have the spears that miss the elephant, miss the target. So I think when you address that, I, I like the concept, but I think you have to address is that if you're out to make a community and change that community, if you don't accept and adopt that you're going to grow that one coalesced idea, then you're the kind of spears flying everywhere. I, I like your concept, but I have concerns about the authenticity of it. Well, I, you know, we can address where people are throwing spears, but look at where we are today. People are throwing spears everywhere today. Uh, so the intent is not in question, the focus is. So I would say merely the effort to get those spears in one place is going to do better than we got right now. But the reason why they're throwing spears all over the place is because they've got blindfolds on, and you're going to take the blindfold off. <laughs> it's like a punch drunk yeah, boxer yeah. that can't I mean, see, and he's I, throwing punches. I would say that everybody that I know of is trying their best to solve the problem. You know, and uh, whether or not everybody's headed in the same direction is is debatable. So. Uh, certainly you can't fault the intent, but you want to work on the approach. 